It is Eagle Raptor Sequelitis. Mega Man Classic versus Mega Man X. Um, this is the dude's page. I'll link. I'll link the. Uh, I'll link the uh, right here. Here's the YouTube page for him. We got. I have no idea what even this is. This is even about, but I trust Peppy. But I trust Peppy. And this thing has 15 million views. So I would imagine at least three other people think this is a great video. <laughs> Let's Eagle Raptor, Sequelitis, Mega Man versus uh, Mega Man Classic versus Mega Man X. Oh boy, it's a Mega Man. This oh game's boy. like a legend. It's pretty fucking good. I mean, I don't really feel like I need uh -huh. to sing its praises, but whatever. It's got tight controls, it, it's got a simple objective, it's just fucking fun to play. So go slap it in your nest machine and have a grand old time. Before 1987, when Mega Man came out, it was hard for a lot of games. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Game designers okay. to understand what games needed to engross a player, you know, to, to carry you along, to keep you wanting to play their game about... Squares. <laughs> there really wasn't like a book written on game design, and oftentimes designers wrote books on why their game was fun. Dude, like literally, you had to read the through books. manuals, oh, and even the then the games were still confusing. I don't even like inherent rules of game design didn't exist. So, so video gaming was treated like traditional gaming. You know, like like baseball and solitaire. You just had to have someone like tell you the rules, you and play. then you can kind of yeah. play after you watch someone else play a couple times and. I don't get it. And there's not really anything wrong with that, but what's unique about video game is that there are ways That's that you can point. teach a play. That's a really strong point, dude. Like when I started when I when I like cut my teeth in video games, there wasn't any rules. You had to freaking figure it out. Like figure that shit out. That's really interesting. As they play. And I'm not talking about fucking educational games, Mavis Bacon. <laughs> Mavis Beacon, oh my god. Mavis Beacon, teach me typing. <sighs> Number munch. I'm talking about teaching a player all about your Freddy game. Fish. You know, like, how to play it. Now, usually when you hear things like, how to play, you think of things like a tutorial, or a bunch of stupid dumb menus that pop up that you gotta read, or one of these. <laughs> See, look, I know you're not a stupid kid, because I say fuck a lot and you're okay with that. You know, I think it's kind of weird how gaming subject matter has been aimed more towards just adults cause. and teenagers with all the blood and the killing and the bam, boom, But the way games are designed seems like it's catering more towards kids who don't know what the fuck is going on with the world. They don't know Obama. Let me give you an example. <laughs> this is a very scientific graph showing the amount of times a gamer says, yeah, I get it, during gameplay <laughs> over the years. In the 80s, this very rarely happened because games were crafty about the way they taught players, and they did a pretty good job respecting the intelligence that of wasn't Obama. human beings. Sometimes they made things a little too... Oh, man, what? Oh, now you can I see there that. was a rapid increase in, yeah, I get it in the late 90s due to gaming hitting the mainstream. This is a result of game developers assuming the non-gamer masses are all dumb, and they can't identify simple patterns in their head like normal human beings can and need yeah. to be able to do in order to survive. Be. And besides, no matter how stupid you are, I'm sure you don't enjoy when you're having a good time and all of a sudden someone comes up and goes, Hey! hey! You know Hi. what? You really, need to do, you really need to jump over this open pit because it'll kill you! Okay, just want you to know. Okay, thanks. <laughs> so what does all this crap have to do with Mega Man? Well, everything, really. Mega right. Man's major strength, even way back in the 80s, has always been its ability to teach a player through its level design. It won't very often put you in a situation where you have to learn, like, immediately how to do something and then react faster than your brain can even fucking respond. Yeah, that makes yeah, like sense. Yeah, like that. Let's take a some examples! In Mega Man 1 and Guts Man's <laughs> stage, there are these platforms sliding along these little path lines. You jump on the first platform with no fear, whatever, and then you just kind of ride it out and then fuck <laughs> Mega Man, Mega Man, there's a hole in the zip line that you <laughs> No shut up, I don't need you. Because look, the game shows me what it is. Before I even feel confident enough to jump down, another platform moves over it and whoosh, okay. So there you go. I fall to my death. Dude. I'm, glad I, I'm glad I knew that, so it wasn't fucking shoved down my throat by a robot chiming in. 
get it? Mega yes. Man 2, I'm sure you all know this. Yep. Quick Man Stage has this segment where you just start dropping. Right away, there's these big yellow beams that are like, boom. And so, Mega Man, Mega Man, come <laughs> in. There's these big yellow beams that kill you if you shut your mouth. I don't need you. Because look. The stage is shaped like a funnel, so it draws me towards the bottom. So I've got no problem feeling there's some tension in escaping these obnoxiously loud death beans, you dumb bitch. All around Mega Man 3, there's these green ball swinging dudes in Mega Man, Mega Man, those are called hammer chows. They'll swing their mighty hammer around and then throw it, so you better watch your- <laughs> I already know this! Because look, the levels are all designed so it's uncommon for you to actually be in their line of fire once they throw their ball for the first time. The designers wanted it to feel justified when you got hit. It was your fault you got hit, not theirs. And over Coming that obstacle is more satisfying as a result, because you're improving by learning. In Mega Man 5 and Gyro Man stage. Dude, the what game were we just playing? What game were we just playing? That that's that's what it was. Celeste? Right? Wasn't it? Right? Okay, yeah, I like I was trying to like. Yeah, dude. This is top tier. This video, this guy's hitting every point. Like, show me, tell me, tell me how to beat your shit without telling me how to beat your shit. Not a euphemism. D she gone? I'm fucking serious. Uh, okay. All right, I don't think I hear anything. So, Mega in Gyro Man stage, there's these flying spiky dudes that fall down on you but you kind of have a lot of space to avoid them, so it's not really a big deal. But suddenly you jump on this weird platform, and because you're- Mega Man! <laughs> falling the fucking shit! They're falling! They're fucking falling! I can see that! How many fu- I'm going crazy here! Aww. I'm sorry, I just- I don't feel sorry for you. Okay, so you jump on these platforms, and since there's really nothing in your way, you're just kind of like, oh, I'm just gonna keep going right. But then you see they're falling. And so after learning about both those things, the spiky guys and the falling platforms, in a controlled environment, you're introduced to both at the same time. So now there's like this really big challenge. Dude, so you don't feel like nobody told you what the fuck's going so on cool. with the spiky guys and the fallen rocks. So and cool. it's fair. So after and it's fair. Mega Man with some Most importantly, it's absolutely fair. They don't give you that bullshit, like, like nothing, nothing, nothing in video games makes me more upset. Here it is. Nothing makes me more upset in video games when they give you an obstacle that they never showed you. They give you a game mechanic that's never explained, that they never show you, and they're like, you just gotta go catch this fucking thing on fire when you've never been able to catch anything on fire before or after it's one of the cheapest most like I fucking I bad game design that's lazy that's fucking lazy it's like we just we just want to put a freaking wrench into their old freaking uh, progress so we're gonna do this stupid thing and dedicate man hours just to make the game just a just a way more frustrating for you. I hate that. I absolutely hate that. And like with this specifically in like Celeste, it's all fair. They show you how to do it. You figure it out in a controlled environment and then they give it to you again. That's so good. Slight changes here and there. People were like, yeah, fucking Mega whatever, Mega Man 12 was what is this, Land Before Time? And Capcom was like, fuck. People are losing interest in Mega Man, we gotta make new- WHAM! <laughs> Holy fuck, this game's awesome! Look at the graphics and the music, oh my god, it feels so good! Uh, it's not on Sega Genesis, this is Super Nintendo! See, this is a sequel, this is a fucking sequel! You thought I was gonna talk about bad sequels all the time on Sequelitis? Fuck no! This game makes my dick rock hard! Remember the first episode, you know, what they did wrong, what they did right? Fucking please! This is why, why Mega Man X is so, so fucking, fucking good, good that it makes my dick rock hard. Also, I talk about what elements of the original Mega Man games were enhanced to be even more effective. Number one, the intro stage. All right, so if you're a seasoned Mega Man Classic player, the first thing you'll notice about Mega Man X is that you don't immediately get thrown into a stage select. You always start out on an intro level. Uh, so let me level this with you. This makes my dick rock hard. Electrical engineering is pretty smart. General relativity, it's pretty fucking smart. 
-hmm. The intro stage in Mega Man. Fucking genius! The classic Mega Man's had a lot of teaching tools strewn about its design, but the game itself was, you know, pretty simple. It was just a game about jumping and shooting. Jump and shoot! Should have been called Jump and Shoot Man. <laughs> jump and shoot! Hey Mega Man, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. I'm just jumping and shooting. What are you gonna shoot. do next? Oh, I'm gonna run and I'm gonna run to the right, and then I'm gonna jump and shoot. There weren't a lot of complex concepts in the overall design, so it didn't need a lot of time to teach you the basics. Mega Man X, on the other hand, has so much to offer, and it teaches you all of it in the first level. No, in the first fucking seconds of the game. It's nuts! I can't so I'm gonna wait. show you everything I it teaches you the on this little checklist here. I'm gonna check Mega it off whenever it teaches you, alright? Okay. So let's turn it on and start this thing up! Okay, skip the intro. <sighs> Fuck. Shit. Okay. Okay, so, oh, look at that. You got a little Mega Man. Hold on. Real memory 8,192 terabytes. Available memory. Skip the. 32,768 terabytes of RAM! Intro. Fuck. Shit. Okay. Okay. So, oh, look at that. It's too much. Mega Man's on the menu screen. That's that nice. That was a See, snes. Right they didn't That's have that much. strange how he's the cursor, right? Usually it's like an arrow or like a finger or something. I don't know. No! Oh, shit. Anyway, you press start and wham! Fuck, did you see that? He shot a little green blast out of his hand there. That was neato. By the way, this is important, so write it down. Because I'm going to do like a thing where I blow your fucking mind. All right, so moving on. So ready and teleport. Write it Bam, down. there's X. Those were Mega Man Standing stats? So, oh, okay. Yeah, so let's just sense. assume I'm like a fucking idiot, like modern game devs assume I am. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm holding the controller. Uh, so there's work, arrows work, on this thing, work, and maybe work. the right arrow makes me no, go right. Like, oh my work, god! Work. Moving right, holy fuck! So there's a wall to my left, so I should probably go right, right? Yeah, that's cool, alright. So I'm walking, I'm walking. Giant wheel with spikes! Oh god, oh god, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Oh fuck the wall! <laughs> go! Oh, man! Oh. Okay, Aww. so I got a lot of life. So that wasn't a big deal. It's okay to make those mistakes. I'm good. I'm good. Unless I fall into a fucking pit. Oh, damn it! Okay, so I got a lot of lives too. Okay, so it's good to make those mistakes too. I'm ready. Let's fucking fuck this spiky dude up. All right. So if I can't walk through the dude, I must be able to do something else. All right. So uh, there's some buttons on this controller. Hit some buttons and what? Oh my god! I'm in the air. I'm jumping. Holy shit! I'm like a I'm like a jump man. I'm gonna jump over this guy. <laughs> I'm gonna no start it's cool. and shooting. Yeah, I'm the fucking best. Holy shit! New guy. He's shooting things at me. I don't know what. Oh my god. Why? Okay. Okay. So I can jump over these things, but he's too tall to jump over. Maybe I can like wait a second. Flashback. <laughs> on the on the title screen, I shot a green thingy when I press start. So how do I oh, I'm gonna press buttons and Yeah! Yeah! yeah lemons! Right. Lemons! I did it. Lemons. I, beat, I beat the guy. See what confuses me though is that I shot a green thingy on the title screen, but um, Lemons! I only shot lemons. When I hit the button, and no other button shoots the green thingy, so what, what do I, how do I shoot the green thingy? Well, for the sake of pacing in the video, and for the fact that I'm gonna blow your fucking mind with this shit! Let's assume that I'm not willing to experiment any further than what I've done, and I'm a stubborn dick, and I just want to move on. So let's move on! Next up are some flying enemies. Just jump and shoot them. Holy shit, I can jump and shoot at the same time! This game's amazing! This is so cool. This is so goddamn cool. What <laughs> the fuck? The bee! Is that a bee? Yeah. Just to let you know, there's gonna be mini bosses, and they're gonna be fucking awesome. This battle also acts as a small misdirection for a battle that's coming up that I'll go into when it happens. It's gonna blow your fucking mind! Also, what? They drop these enemies that have these long legs. They walk yep. real slow, so you get just the right amount of time to realize that, that your shots are, are going through their legs. They're not hitting them. So you just that's try to be amazing. dumb head and bam, they're dead. So now you know that there are certain enemies that is absolutely to amazing. Spots. See, this entire situation is teaching you all the rules of the game. And do you feel like you're in school yet? Yeah, that's you feel like brilliant. Two willigers gonna give you detention for playing video games in class. No, you feel like you're playing a game, stupid. All right, so let's get serious here for a second. Check this fucking shit out. Take down the Bumblebee Man, and he falls and goes boom, and now you're stuck in a ditch. Well, what the fuck? How the fuck am I supposed to get out of here? You go left, you go right, and there's no way out. What do you fucking do? Okay. So here we go. Bumblebee Man fell on the right side of the platform, but there's this Where little gap between go. him and the wall. Yeah. Now, when you're drawn to the walls, because there really isn't anything else to be drawn to, you hop up on the Bumblebee, run at the wall, and then you slide down the wall. Now, you can easily observe your descent is slow. There's a little smoke trail coming up. So you try it again, and this time, hitting buttons. 
Usually, you know, the jump button, because that's the only function you've learned so far that makes you ascend. <laughs> and bada bang, bada boom, you're hopping on the boom, walls! Boom! Going up and fucking get walls! Good job. Now, now, as a little additional bonus, on the right of the ditch, you see that there's health Stop items and stuff, so, you know, if you want to test out your newfound ability that you taught yourself, by the way, the game didn't... Whoop, Mega Man, Mega Man! Yeah, you get the whole idea. You can go grab the reward, it feels fucking great. Feels fucking good. But hey, you know, maybe like this all that. seems silly to you, like... Like, duh, duh, right? Like, of course you learn about a game by playing it long enough. That's like an inherent thing about games, right? No. Like, think of a game like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde for the NES, for example. Everybody should play this game if you want to get into game design. It's a perfect example of doing nothing to teach the player about its limits and goals. Nothing in this game seems to make sense. Stuff happens at random. People hurt you, some people don't. <laughs> you walk backwards as Mr. Hyde, I don't... No. Of course, you the game itself has guy. limits, it has rules, it, it, it is a game, but it doesn't teach you anything about itself through the gameplay, and on top of that, the presentation's confusing, because all the clashing information you're being fed constantly. Just, just play this game for two minutes, and you will understand how poorly you can teach a player how to play your stupid game. The term you still have for this concept <laughs> is conveyance. And I think that's a fitting name. I mean, haven't you ever been playing a game and conveyance? you're just like, What do I do? Where do I go? That's what yeah. I'm talking about. That's bad conveyance. Oh. All right. <clears throat> okay, so now, are you Checks ready to get out. your mind fucking blown? I'm waiting, Because this dude. is where I'm gonna fucking blow your fucking mind. So you get I to the do. end of the level, gotta beat some stupid cars or whatever. I don't fucking know. Right now, cars! <laughs> Then this fucking huge ass dude comes down in a giant robot man Purple suit Boba Fett. and starts wrecking your shit. Fuck! All the things I've learned, all the things I've applied aren't helping me! He's just fucking wrecking me! How weak and helpless do you feel? Mind blow number one. You have no idea if you're hurting Vile or not. So you don't have any idea whether or not this is a scripted sequence or not. Because the first boss you fight in the game, the beast, doesn't have a life bar. So how are you supposed to know whether or not Mega Man X goes about the same conventions as Mega Man Classic? What if all the enemies don't have life bars? You don't know. Yeah. This helps drive yeah. the helplessness point home. You have no idea what you're doing to this guy. Fighting for your life. <clears throat> So to add insult to injury, he traps you in a little electrical cage thing, and then he grabs the shit out of you, and he's like, <laughs> and you're like, ah, and he laughs, <laughs> and right, you cry, right, right. Ah, but what is that? Zero! Whoa, fuck! That's the blasty thing I saw earlier on the title screen. That's what I want. I want that. How do I, what, how do I do that? And who the fuck is this person? Is that a guy or a girl? I don't know. fucking know. But then, what's that? It looks like he's charging his shot. That's what the- Mind, Mind blow, blow number two. two. It all makes sense now. It's so much sense. The green sense. shot is the same shot that Zero fires, and I have to charge up my buster to do it. Fuck! Now I know! I didn't have to have somebody tell me with a- Whoop, Mega Man, shut up! So clearly this guy's <laughs> fucking awesome. He just wrecked this dude you didn't even know you could do damage on, and then the dude's like, oh, fuck, and just runs away. So he turns around, it, this guy's name's Zero, by the way. So he looks over at you and he's like, look, X, let me level with you for a second. You're strong, but you're not as strong as I am. But check it out. Yeah. Someday, you will be as strong as I am. Ooh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this shit blew my goddamn mind when I was little. Forget it. I get to be as cool as Zero. Fucking forget it. The crazy super blue buster shot, the dash, the fucking the <laughs> hair. I don't know. It's fucking Zero. I want to be him. Oh this, my god. My little sequelitis of seizes. This is called theming. This is what makes the feel of Mega Man X's Theme. story elements feel so potent. Everything in this game has to do with Mega Man X growing stronger. stronger. And yeah, all dude, the elements the are clear. You not yep, only have the personal that. parallel character, Zero, who represents how strong you will become, but also the goal to defeat Vile, who at this point in time, you can't even visibly damage. And this isn't just experienced in cutscene or anything like that. It's also expressed in gameplay. You get to feel the utter helplessness of being so weak as a player. You don't have to empathize this with the character incredible. on the screen, the feeling happens directly to you. So now you have true motivation as a player. You want to defeat this asshole you couldn't even damage, and you want to do it by becoming as strong as Zero. Yeah. How do you do this? By playing the fucking game! You find the armor, <laughs> you beat the enemies, you ride on the cool roller coaster thing. All the armor upgrades, which by the way make you look more like Zero. The health upgrades, the enemy upgrades, they're all yeah. motifs of the theme of growing stronger. Everything that makes yeah. Mega Man X unique resonates to the theme it establishes immediately. And through to the end, you feel something. 
a connection to the hero that not a lot of games can successfully manifest. Something you legitimately desire as a player is something that's relevant to the game's story. Your desire to surpass Zero and defeat Vile are both gameplay elements that are fun and interesting. Get NFL oh, Sunday no! ticket and watch your favorite this NFL my favorite teams out of videos. market Sunday Dude, games Peppy, live this is... all season long. Now on YouTube and YouTube TV. So Theming. So Intro stage. This is so good. Fuck. Number this two. is like class. Movement. <sighs> okay, so let me cool down for a second. Mega Man Classic had super tight controls. Nobody can argue that. The movement was at a really nice, unfrustrating speed. Your hitbox yep. was really clear and square-like. Jumping felt good because you could control the height and you could also control your trajectory mid-air. How does it even work? Now, what's interesting is Mega Man X's controls were nearly identical. Seriously, the speed, the jump arcs, they're, they're pretty much spot on from the first games. I mean, why fix what isn't broken? But now there's two factors that dramatically change the way the entire game is designed. Wall jumping I was gonna say and wall dashing. An ability zero yeah, had. Yeah, How yeah, about yeah, yeah, that yeah. shit? Now it seems like two really simple upgrades, but everything is different now. The way you avoid enemies, the way you can approach enemies, the way you can traverse obstacles, everything. These two movement options give you the ability to go more places much more easily and much more quickly which means the terrain had to expand to accommodate. Mega Man Classic focused a lot on single screen obstacle course type layouts, which were basically rendered obsolete by dashing and wall jumping. Not to yeah, mention the flow of the game's of openness would be fucked up by the super slow screen transitions from Mega Man Classic, which have all been completely eliminated except for the boss, boss battle rooms. introduction room, which in yep. my opinion actually increases the drama even more so before Absolutely. the boss battle because Knowing now what's there's coming. a huge contrast from how the rest of the game goes about its yep. scene transition. Now dashing also uniquely influences another change in terrain, slopes. The ability to ascend but still maintain a dash and not have to run into a stupid fucking wall was essential <laughs> to keeping the game's flow intact. Now wall jumping exclusively affected the abundance of vertical segments. Mega Man Classic tried the whole vertical thing with the Elect Man stage in Mega Man 1 and they were fucking dumb and hard and fuck. And they didn't revisit them unless they involved some sort of gimmick like the bubbles in Wave Man's stage, or straight down falling like Quick Man's stage, <laughs> which comes a lot more naturally to Mega Man's control scheme because, I mean, there's gravity. Which... Uh, gravity... Fuck! So, that's it. That's number two. Number three! <sighs> Man, I just like Mega Man X. I mean, I'm serious. I fucking I like this is like my favorite like, game. So I'm I just like gonna Mega like, Mega I'm just gonna really, gush right really now. Really okay, I'm just it. gonna gush. Dude, wasn't it fucking awesome when you used Boomer Clang's <laughs> weapon on Flame Mammoth and his trunk came off? That was so, yeah. Fuck, wasn't it so neat how you could like ride in like a giant mobile suit armor and like punch shit? <laughs> Oh man, wasn't it the bomb getting the fucking Street Fighter Hadouken and then like trashing Vile like like in one hit just BAM yeah fuck you <laughs> All that stress you gave me in the first level I don't even give a fuck yeah fuck you Wasn't it cool how like Storm Eagle stage was like it wasn't even like in a like a box room It was like outside on a airship and you were like oh fuck he's flying around where the fuck is Isn't it cool that if you like decide to skip the to getting the mobile suit armor thing then if you just walk forward as regular X, the other enemies that are in mobile suit armors, they're actually outside their mobile suit armors, so you get like a chance to kind of like oh, stand a chance. Oh, that's so cool! Fucking hard, right? And then if you kill them before they go into their mobile suit, you can steal it. You can take and their it's, suit. God, it's fucking brilliant! You know how Sigma, you know how the last boss Sigma is like really fucking hard, even if you have full sub tanks. So like you use up all your sub tanks and then you die, and you're like, well shit, now I don't even stand a chance because I couldn't even beat them with four sub tanks. But the level right before you go up to Sigma has like these infinite infinitely spawning caterpillars that you can just kill with armor armadillo's charge thing and you can just stand there and be like bow, 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 and just kill him and then your sub tanks get filled up in like a second and then you can beat sigma again it's fucking brilliant it's amazing god oh my All right. god so that's it just go on ebay and and buy oh. a super nintendo unless you already uh, have one uh, fuck just go <laughs> just play mega man x all right it's good I swear, it's fucking good. Oh if this makes God. me th that excited, if I can, if I can tear down Castlevania 2, which is people have been like, oh, it's a good game, <laughs> and I'm like, Mega Max is the best game ever. Then you better fucking play this game because it's it's good. Riding on cars. <laughs> Riding on cars. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Ego rat like. Oh my god. Dude. Holy shit. Peppy, thank you for linking that video. You guys, Eagle Raptor is going to be one of my favorites, I think.
go check it. Go, go check, go, go check him out. Oh my god, what a fucking gem! Absolutely out of control. 